All right, all right. Everyone sit the fuck down and pay attention. Asshole. Yeah, you. Put down the goddamn phone or I swear to Christ, I'm going to bust it over your head. Oh, you comfy, sweetheart? You got your little drinky poo in your snacks? Well, they ain't good. Here we go. Now, I got a little story to tell you. It's about my hometown, Holiday Falls, and how things got all foobar last holiday weekend. For those of you civilians that don't parlay vu, that's army for fucked up beyond all recognition. Now, this shitstorm started when this asshole came to town. Seems this tool bag was the den mother for a hush hush project for Uncle Sam and decided the falls was a perfect little fishbowl for his science experiment. So, I did a little checking around and lo and behold, this douche rocket had been playing this game for some time. And the last time, a few years ago, in some godforsaken dark asshole of Eastern Europe, things didn't go any better than in the falls. Back then, this guy survived. These guys, they weren't so fucking lucky. Oh, and then it was the matter of these fucking things. I mean, what the fuck? Left wandering around till the cleanup crew came and torched the whole fucking town? The minute I saw that cocksucker in the suit, I knew something shitty was gonna go down. I knew it. I mean, I just fucking knew it. So let's pick up from just after the Eastern Europe disaster, shall we? Now, pay attention, and I'll catch up with you later. Crazy night tonight, right? You good? You all right? You look a little messy, a little uh, dirty, eh? But you're used to that, right? Comes with the territory. of this great nation of ours. And it comes with a price. Actually, many different prices. It just marches in the fucking killing box for America. Field testing is a must. Right here, fucking mom. No, no, no. The sacrifices must be made, Mr. Mo. You think we'd be sitting in this room if it were not for nights like last, where people die for a greater cause? It's the way it is. Consider yourself lucky, Mr. Bones. You're a survivor. How many will be? 
Lucky? Why don't you try telling that to the families of my guys you put in the box? It's not my department. So what is your department? What's your fucking name? Sparing you all the boring details of what I do, know that my angle is cut by this country. All I need is for you to sign this paper. So that's it. I'm just here to put down my mark for the country? You're here because you're a survivor with a great ongoing interest to us. Sign. And you're free to go. I'm standing outside the Snyder County Health Offices, where, as you can see, Holiday Falls residents are eagerly clamoring for their inoculations. To help prevent a crisis that may stifle the tourism this summer, Hens Howard Pharmaceuticals, a company that's made a name for itself in targeting what could be called epidemics all across the U.S., has come to aid. We specialize in eradicating the nasty bugs. In this ongoing war with the H1N1 influenza virus, we take pride in the knowledge that we can offer a preemptive strike to those vulnerable, such as the children and the elderly. Did your vaccination hurt, sweetheart? No, I thought it was going to, but I really didn't. I talked to a pediatrician who um, assured me after meeting with the company representative that it was unsafe, so we're going to go ahead and do it. The safety of uh, my family that comes into play, and uh, this company has assured me that uh, this is the best route to go. And uh, I'm very conscious of that fact, so I have no issue in having this done. And the company has said that it's completely been tested and it's thoroughly safe for humans. So what should I be worried about? We've been doing this for a long time with excellent results. We're consistently creating the safest and best products for everyone. Assuredness is our guarantee You, know, you bring that book along and it's going in the fire. 
You're in my son. Come on, Jack. Damn, you like it? Come on. Jim? Come on. You know, how's it we're even related again? I mean, I'm the one doing all the work here. Help? Well, I'm not the guy who decided to bring all this shit. Do we even need it? One weekend. One weekend. Seriously, dude? Spatulas? Hey, man, I am serious. I can't park. When I can't, I can't like I mean it. I have one bag. When you're done packing all that shit and I'll throw it in the bag. And I'll be bringing my notebook along with it. Such a sissy. I'm not the one with the Julia Child kitchen set, man. Well. We'll see how sissy I am when I break out Julia Childs and show these ladies what's up. Fact, chicks dig the grill master. Just calling yourself the grill master makes me think you're seriously misgaging your capacity with the opposite sex. Oh, and the shit you wrote in your little notebook. That just oozes smart guy sex appeal. That's the deal, right? Women are into a well-read man. <laughs> Get the pig in this roll. I swear, if you have an apron or some shit that actually says the grill master, I'll be forced to kill you. I would love to see that day. I miss my book. Trust me, it'll be in the exact same spot when we get back. You brought your mint. Yeah, it's in the bag. Good, because I'm going to be cranking long balls off these chicks all day when they try bringing their heat to me. Who's exactly coming on this trip? You keep saying chicks, who are we talking about? You know, Eliza, Carrie Ann, and uh... And who? Marisol. You've got to be shitting me. Marisol. We just don't get along, man. Yeah, I know. So it's great she's going to be up there, right? You're an asshole. Listen, little bro, it's cool. She's not all butch and dykey anymore. She got really fucking hot. She's got, like, this whole riot girl thing going on. Very sexy. Anyway, 10 plus on my Dictor scale. <laughs> I've seen some of the 10s on your scale. Just wait. Just throw us this weekend, little bro. It's been a while since I did anything really fun. <laughs> Gym's not fun. It's just good to get the hell out of Dodge. You know what I mean? I like Dodge. I don't know why you made me leave it. Don't you like getting out of the city? Yeah, the birds, the bees, the trees. Getting back to nature, leaving all the congestion behind. Save that for the eight million brochures telling everyone how awesome the middle of nowhere is. You're not gonna sell me. There's nothing wrong with home. You see, this place never really felt like home to me. Okay, I lived in the city, moved here, and got the fuck back to the city the minute I turned 18. I never liked it here. That doesn't mean you can't have fun. It's one weekend. So suck it up, Brooklyn. Yeah, I'm from Queens. Eat for fun, right? Just try to have fun. Fun, it's the last weekend of the summer. You can spend the rest doing city shit. Now, upside down that frown, and let's go!
look at this Brodak moment, huh? You kids do know that public urination, it's, uh, it's against the law. And you realize that creeping up on a man while he's taking a piss, it's not cool. To be Holly Goss? Oh yeah. You didn't hear it? She's a law dog now. There's one horse town at least. Maybe one horse, but it's my horse. Please don't forget that. Touché. Like seriously, Twilight's honing me out thinking you traded in the prom queen crown for the badge. No, I traded him for the gun. Badge came through. A lot of changes. Yeah, that's what happens. You know, you go to school, you finish school, you go to college, you get a boyfriend, <laughs> or a girlfriend, maybe. Have a family, a career. It's life, maybe you guys should try it. I'm working on it. <laughs> but still, I find it hard to believe you became a cop. Four brothers, cops, dad, cop. Real hard to believe. Besides, I like busting the roadside pissers like you guys. Wait, you, you're not really gonna give us a citation, are you? No. Even though I've busted you four times. On a porta potty. You're an idiot. Wait a second. How do you remember you busted me four times? Are you stalking me? Yes. Yeah. At least I did until I saw that thing. Besides, you're pissing on yourself. You're disgusting. It's not possible. My zipper's up. Use the fucking restroom. I don't know. I told them to meet us on this trail. I don't know where they are. You know, man, I am glad you came out for the last trip of the season. This better be good. Finally, the fucking guys are here. Now we can eat. I'm hungry like a hostage. Thank God. Women. What's up, Biatch? That's mistress Biatch to you. Get it straight or I'll boot heel your throat. And that is why I love you. You love me because I own you. Anyway, you remember Josh, my gay brother? Well, he's back from the wild west coast. Holy, not so osh gosh be gosh anymore. I left all my corduroy overalls out west just for you. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, man. Lighten up. Hey, guys. Hey, <laughs> smiley. How's it hanging? Low and loose. Hi, you carry on. Joshy Josh, look at you. Are you ready to tackle these woods like a lumberjack? You're just not a little baby anymore. Right? It's like the West Coast made him even less gay. <laughs> if that's possible. How come I'm always the gay one? Because, little bro. You're so darn cute. Besides, I gotta affirm my alpha male status somehow. What can I say? You're intimidating. But I'll still take it. Whatever.
I believe you know my little brother Josh. The hospital mix-up. I know him. Something like that. We more or less just fed and raised him. Didn't have the heart to toss it into a dumpster. Hmm. You've grown up, Josh. You look good. Let's see what the weekend has in store for us, shall we? Woo. Now, if that ain't love, I don't know what is. Yeah, right. Fuck it. Let's check in. Can't you read the goddamn sign? Yeah, I can read your little sign. Listen, we were wondering if you have any spaces left. Are you shitting me, kid? Why don't you fucking Einsteins take a look around? Does it look like I don't have any fucking spaces left? This place is fucking dead in a frog with a brick up its ass. I don't think I know what that means. That means you'll get a space faster than shit through a goose's asshole, honey. Expecting rain or something? Really? Fuck rain. Weatherman, meteorologist, whatever the fuck you guys want to call them now. They're a bunch of candy asses throwing darts at a fucking board, if you ask me. If I'd have been wrong that many times at my fucking job, I'd have been out on my ass. Or worse, I'd have been fucking dead. W-T-F. And what job is that? Are you writing a book? Not me, him. I'm just curious. Oh. Then if you gotta know, you could title it Herb West, Ass Kicker Extreme. I'm Army, retired. I was out there on the front lines in 90. I was scud hunting. I was bunker busting. I was hitting that shit harder than a cow pissing on a flat rock. Well, fuck it then. With that said, we'll take two spaces. Well, all right, two it is. I'll only charge us for one, though. Far out. Hmm. Well. It's not gonna get any worse. I'm in the shitter for the weekend anyway. None of my pre-books showed up. Besides, my asshole brother owns this camp. <laughs> I have one of those too. Mm. All right. Well, listen up, rookies. These are the rules. No dogs. No drugs. None of that crazy shit. And no banging Buffy on the picnic table. So it'll be 40 bucks up front. And we'll call it even. Um, uh, Scud Hunter, regarding the whole table fucking bit, what if we provide our own tablecloth? Uh, don't worry, sir. You'll have no trouble out of us. Speak for yourself, Joshy. Good then. There's your pad number and your map. There's a poker came out back at 9 o'clock. $10 buy-in. If you're not too much of a pussy. I'll be there. Good. And yo, sporto. I don't want no trouble. You guys keep things simple. I don't need anybody fucking up my little world out here. Yeah, yeah. No trouble, no little world fucking up. We get it. Thank you. outside. It's like purposely making ourselves homeless. Fun! Look, you didn't have to show up. Oh, but I so very much miss the adventure of the great outdoors. Come on, it's not that bad. Should have brought my gun. Why would you need a gun out here? Gee, I don't know. Why would you need a fucking curling iron? Cut us some slack, man. Heading for the boys. What boys? This place is beat. Listen, I know you like Josh. 
you play it like you don't, but you've had it for him for years. It's obvious. My psychic girl powers are picking up the waves, Mare. And my psychic girl powers don't lie. What are your psychic girl powers telling you right now? They are telling me you think I am full of shit. Then they're spot on. But they're also telling me that's bullshit and you can't hide it forever. You say you're gonna tell you about me. That you totally bone that dude that Chuck does it. Oh, maybe you really are psychic. Yeah, for all intents and purposes, I'm surprised they're not diving into the cold for that shit. Fuck you guys. Hard. Rather, it's back at the check-in, because I know you'll end up falling into a fucking ravine or some shit like that. You're trying to pop a squat out here. <laughs> She's drunk. I know. You can be a wise ass when you want to be, huh? It's the felt premium lager. You know, you're different than I remember you. You could probably still get my ass. Well, that's just about saying. But, uh, you're not the kid I used to know anymore, you know? Oh, I remember that kid. The one that would have to come home from school and create phantom bullies because he was too embarrassed to admit he was being beaten up by a girl. Ah, sorry about that. All the teenage angst. It's just brewing with such rageful angst. Why? Who knows? Lack of a father figure, maybe. Raging hormone. I was moved from the city to the sticks and was geographically handicapped. Nick Carter wasn't answering my fan mail. A million things it was, but people change. Yeah, they do. So let's have a toast. The people changing, for the better. Because I think we both have. I can do that. How you doing? Hey, honey. The black coffee? Uh, yeah. Make it two. Make one two, though. Okay, no problem. Thanks. Of course she drinks milk. There you go. Thank you. You got my tab? No problem. There's a new definition to protect and to serve. I saw your little television broadcast, like the celebrity. And? Look, I'm just gonna go balls out and tell you this. Doing your feelings in any way, shape, or form mess with the best people in my nice town. I would bury you and your operation so far in the fucking ground and take a few to archaeologists to dig in. Such harsh words. Don't you trust that assuredness is our guarantee? Trust my gut. My gut's got you pegged shadier than the left side of the barn at 3 p.m. Now you see, it's that down-home charm that makes Holiday Falls perfect for this type of adventure. 
Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Watch yourself. And while you're at it, you might want to get yourself a new suit. Which is a little bag. Hey, Trina! This man over here in the slick suit wants to buy everybody steak and eggs. Give it up for the douchebag. All right. <laughs> Wake the fuck up, shitbirds! What the hell time is it? Fun time. Grab the cooler. Where the hell am I taking this anyway? Drag my ass out here, man. I'm trying. Let me ask you something. What's the deal with you and Marisol? Sorry to get weird with you, brother. Really. Well, you know when they used to come home from school with black eyes, scraped knees, scuffed elbows, shit like that? Phillies. No, just Marisol. You're shitting me. I couldn't let mom and dad know I was getting picked on by a girl, you know? Shit's embarrassing. You're right, it is. So I made up the bully stories. And by that time, you were out of school, so you weren't there to stick up for me, which was fine. I just never could get why she'd give me such a hard fucking time. Listen, little bro. Girls, well, some of them at least, they go through like this weird phase where if they dig a dude, they'll pick on him. It's natural. It just means she likes you. Tough love. Yeah, right. She still likes you. I can tell. Likes what? Well, I was just saying how Josh likes other guys. Ah, Christ, would you stop it with that shit? Alright, no more from here. It's out of my city. You know what I like? Hitting the long ball. 
Nice. Now, Drock, I see you can't feel the thing you did. No. Better get your ass out there deep, Jim. Humiliated me enough for one day. That was a fucking display. John, can I the rest of this shit and meet us back at the camp? It's really time. What can I say? I've always been good at hitting things. I'm actually thinking about going to that poker in the back card game later tonight. How long have you been waiting to drop that cheesy shit on us? Nah, it's pretty cheap. Couldn't help myself. I don't get it. It's a sexual innuendo, sweetie. And I'm not sure why that would go over your head of all people. Jesus, Jim. <laughs> Did you get your mind off of poking for two seconds? He's not going to be poking anything if he keeps wearing that queer apron. Hey man, lay off my apron. It's... It's a status symbol. Cook the food, okay? If you have to wear your stupid apron to get us from A to B in the feeding process, so be it. Yay for feeding us! Wow. So, Marisol was telling us you can't hit for shit. I prefer to save the hitting for when it counts. You gotta understand, Josh sits around a dark room all day writing. He don't get out much, so athletic activities aren't really his special. So that's what you do these days. You're a writer. Well, studying writing. I'm not published. Well, what do you write while you're studying writing? Yeah, Josh. Tell him what you write. Um, horror. Just put it that way. Horror. I like horror. What kind? Like vampires and shit? Hey, Josh. I love what? Kind. I love to read. Sure you do, Carrie Ann. But go on, Josh. Seriously, I want to know. Romantic horror novellas. <laughs> really? It's all monsters and lovey-dovey shit. You know, like... Frankenstein's monster meets Fabio. Fabio is Frankenstein's monster. I love lovey-dovey shit. That's so cool, Josh. There's a market for it. Yeah, right. Well, guess what, Jimbo? I read them. You read them? I'm your market. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 
phone at like 60 miles an hour. I'm four feet away from you. So what do you want to play? Texas Hold'em, seven card stud, seven card stud high low, Omaha, Omaha high low, Raz, or five card stud triple draw. And fixed limit or no limit? What about war? Are you seriously? Still trying to find service. Yeah, I've got things to do. I mean, come on, haven't they heard of a cell phone tower? I gotta get my nails done. I mean, am I supposed to make a manicure appointment? Oh. Do you want to come with me? We can get our nails done together. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. I'm the master of all I see. <laughs> it all is mine. You can have it. There's no cell phone reception. Why? Who the hell are you going to call anyway? Her West. <laughs> I knew it. What? The Neanderthal from the camp office? Yeah, I'd tap that. I have like six cards. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, this That's it. This is it for oh, you. Boy. Uh, Last stand. Look, I knew she couldn't hide it forever. Yeah, maybe he actually is my brother after all. <laughs> yes. <laughs> ah, he's still going. Yeah, there we go. Champion once again. Thank you. I'll be here all week. Time it is. Actually, I don't think we do have the whole place to ourselves. Fucking hicks. These people just roam around out here like animals. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Looks like they brought friends. Yay for people! Carrie Ann, wait! Jim, you might want to hand me one of those bats.
You have a bomb shelter? You don't? Shit. I've been ready for this since fucking 90, guys. What? You've been ready? <laughs> then you mind tell us what the fuck's going on out there? Yeah, I said I was ready. I didn't say I knew shit. I guess we ought to find out. Let's see what we got here. There seems to be some kind of mass hysteria that's overtaken Holiday Falls. Please do not attempt to go outside. I repeat, stay indoors. Stay indoors. Turn it off, Herb. Sound like a bag full of hamburger meat. Ah, oh, what the hell is this? Who the fuck are you? I don't want to blow a hole through that pretty apron, kid. Put the bat down. Listen, man, you want to tell us what's going on? I'm Jim, my brother Josh, it's my girlfriend Eliza, and that's, that's Marisol. And you a big man? Herb West, camp supervisor. Well, we all have something in common then, being alive. My name's Griff. See this guy right here in the photo? He's what's happening. Oh, not that douchebag. That's fucking great. Who is he? There are certain people in this world who hold the keys to the doors of hell. This guy right here has a ring full of them. Who the hell are you then? I'm the guy that wants to keep the door shut. But why? Why here? Why us? Your town has the perfect population density. Perfect geography. Perfect civil planning. It's perfect in every way imaginable to create a nice little body little version of hell. I knew it! I knew it! Fucking someday! Somewhere, somehow, this shit was gonna happen! I know the fucking score! I've been watching fucking Fox News! I, I just said a tip the other day! You need arrest, Herb! You don't know shit! Someday? It's been happening, bro. You're just on the shit end of the stick now. So you notice it. So, if this place was chosen to be Satan's little terrarium, why are you even here? Unfinished business. Give it to a straight man. Two years ago, my team were working on government contract in Eastern Europe. We were on recon patrol out pretty far, searching for hidden weapons, depleted uranium stashes, nasty shit. What did you find? I found out that the guy in the photo was the one who set us up. And that's just one of those things a child managed to wipe out my whole team, son. Now you've got yourself a town full of them. And the guy in the photo? I'm gonna find him and engage his kill switch. What are those things? They're what happens when you fuck around in Mother Nature's garden. They're the crows that feed on the faces of the dead, baby. They're disease. Man-made disease. Why, why would someone intentionally want to do that? Pick a sin. I go agree. This guy right here is a Hens Howard pharmaceutical suit and a liaison to a special branch of the military. They create an outbreak, boom. Monison of economics. Fucking figures. Mother of fuck! It's live or die now, boys and girls. This town ain't gonna be vacation destination for much longer. Wait, were you, you were in town? That's what you still wanna call it. I have to call my sister. Where is she? In town. She's dead. Shut the fuck up, man, you don't know that! Eliza. No, that's my sister! This man, he don't know shit! Listen, man, let her use a phone. If they even work. Suit yourself, go ahead. Make the call. Wait, the phones do work? We'll call in reinforcements or something, isn't that what you guys do? They only work within the town limits. 
They're listening on every call and jam anything out going. Gather in cell and make little cliff notes for the guys upstairs. They can do that? They can do whatever they want. That's the point. It's all control. Controlled chaos. Preservation through destruction. Call it whatever you want. Jesus. Jesus is sitting this one out. It's just us, kid. It's nice, sir. Being God. Don't you mean playing God? No. Hello? Sarah, honey. Are you okay? Oh my god. Um, I'm okay. I'm good. Sh she's okay, guys. Where are you? What's going on? Well, what happened? It all happened so fast. We were attacked. The whole town's a mess. People are sick, Eliza. Eliza, I love you! Sarah, wh what's that noise? What is that? Sarah! No. She's gone. I told you. Go easy, man. Easy. Go easy? Listen, boy. This ain't beers and romper room out by the lake anymore. That shit outside is designed to do one thing, and that's kill and spread. Going easy ain't gonna be an option. Then what is? You gotta make it out of time. This is, as of now, designed to be contained. You make it past the city limits, you may have a chance. Fuck, man! I mean, we're just so fucking fucked! I mean, how the fuck are we supposed to get out of here when there's fucking... We're fucking containment! We're locked the fuck down! Every perimeter has a breach. You just gotta find it. Oh, well, the fucking... We're gonna find a fucking breach? When we're fucking locked under containment? How the fuck are we supposed to get out I of here? I swear to God, Herb! You don't shut up! You're not gonna have to worry about what's out there. You're gonna have to worry about me in here. Now, chill. Here. Smoke this. Again, just... Chill. This isn't a global thing. You are right in the maze, you all are. Test subjects. And how the hell are we supposed to do that? Get out of town? I mean, we barely even made it down the hill. I'll get you up. Why do you even care about us, man? You some type of hero? Used to be. Well, what are you gonna do, used to be hero? Settle that score and get you out of here. Alright, check this. You go from where we are right here, along this route, and around the epicenter. You should dodge the thick of it, but it ain't gonna be easy. And Any way you slice it, you're gonna be in the gauntlet. Then how do we get out? You'll hit city limits and find a service road that's not blocked off. That's how I made my way in. How do you even know it's gonna be clear? Because it's the U.S. government. They ain't perfect. Obviously. So, basically, we skip along this curve from one end of this backwards shithole to the other, through over around whatever hordes of these freaks we encounter, 
all while trying not to die and hoping by some grace of God we'll just disappear on some service road we have to hope won't be blocked off that's the plan yes well fuck it I'm in I know this area it could work I mean there's like a, a little small trail off the major road I mean it's obscure but it takes us out of the major parts of town fine Sounds like a good plan. We'll skirt along the edges of the road, and we're out. Herb, how you doing over there? Screw it. I mean, what do we got to lose anyway, right? Besides, I'm ready to crack some fucking skulls. All right, good to have you back in the game, big boy. Contagion spreading, string two data coming in as we speak. Good. Should I put a containment team on alert or cordon off the remaining perimeter? No. But sir? Exodus, chapter nine, verse nine. And it shall be small dust throughout all the land of Egypt. And it shall be a boil breaking forth with blades upon man and upon beast throughout all the land of Egypt. But sir, the risk of full-fledged outbreak? Let it spread.
This is where it gets real. So what do we do? We gotta go straight through. No shortcuts. Well then you should have brought extras. I'm sorry, I didn't know how to bring extra bubble gum for the class. Well, I guess it's good we don't live in a bigger town. So we bash our way through to a clearing? Listen. We go straight through. You're gonna reach a service road where I lift the truck. It'll take you straight out of town. It's now or never. Oh, one more thing. Listen. It spreads through the vice. Any other great pearls of wisdom you got for us? Yeah, don't get bit. Asshole. Sir, uh, we're at the point where we need to radio you in for a containment team. We're on the brink of a full-fledged outbreak. We have our data. We, we, we've seen what Strain 2 can do. This isn't about containment teams, boy. Or data. This is about America. This is about spreading fear, then stepping up and protecting America. This is about money. Creating heroes. Chaos. You're insane! Just call in the team! No, 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 I am not insane. I am a patriot. I am ensuring that when tragedy befalls this great country, the people of this nation will look to their government in times of chaos, and we will be there to make order from that chaos! From the ashes, a great phoenix will arise. <laughs> Fucking Phoenix? Are you serious? I'm radioing this in, authorized or not. I understand your trepidations. Then call it in. You must understand that without great sacrifice, there are no great patriots. Where's Eliza? She was right here. She was right behind you. How'd you lose your girl like that? Douche. They didn't grab her. Well, where the fuck would she go? Oh, Christ. I know where we are. Her sister's place is like a block from here. Spot two roaming outside. Okay, I, I spot none outside.
Eliza. It's okay. It's okay. Stay with me. Come on. Stay with me, please. Damn it! Look at her. She's alive. You're okay. You're okay. Jim, they have to let her go, man. They have to let her go, man. No! She's, she's still alive! I wouldn't let you go. I'll be right behind you, man. Now get out of here. Go! Take you straight to hell with him. And do it! Listen. <laughs> I know how I feel to lose loved ones. I lost four brothers in this mess. In that killer box, I had to watch them get torn to pieces. Now, this motherfucker I'm trying to go after right now. You know, life. It's crazy. I don't. I don't know what else to say. I, I don't know everything. I don't. I don't know why I'm here. I don't even know why I'm alive. I don't know what's my purpose. But I do know God bless her soul. You're okay, Eliza. You're okay. Just go home, bro. No, no, she's not. She's she's alive. If you love her. You wouldn't let the devil take a soul. You gotta let it go, bro. Fuck that! Fuck you! Get the fuck out of here! God! I don't mean to break a crayons, kid, but we gotta get out of here. Now. Sheds. Camp is in session. <laughs> fuck you, you pusshead fuck. <laughs> oh. Mama's boy finally showed up for the fucking dance. Yeah. Start a militia as fast as you can. Start a militia. So I have fuck! Get it! Your mama liked me better! Yeah! You son of a fuck! You son of a bitch! Pieces of me ain't free, motherfucker!
package. Fucking bell ringer. Fucking puss heads. up straight ahead where I came in. Go straight and you'll find it. And then what do we do? I left a truck over there. The keys are in it. Tear our ass out of here as far away as possible, as quick as you can. You're not coming with us? No. What the hell, man? I'm going back in. We're here. Take this. What is it? It's what started this all. Make sure it gets into the right hands good. I'm gonna go put a hurt on that motherfucker who started this. Score's still not settled? No. But it will be. Get out of here. Go. I mean, look at the bright side. Um, when we get out of here, you'll have your next romantic horror novella. There's nothing romantic about this. Give me your palm. You read palms? It's only fun. It's real. I don't know if I believe in all that. You have a really strong lifeline. And that means? Well, it, it means that you have a long life ahead of you. Quality of life, longevity. And it's forks at the beginning here, too, see? Is that bad news? No, it's good. It means that you're just, loyal, dependable. surviving patriot. How did you ever find me?
such an asset to this great country. Any last words before I spill your blood for America? <laughs> I like watching you show up. I love watching you win. Fucking town. Uh, I guess I'll drive. You want to hop in the back? I think I'll share the seat. Seat yourself. Um, all right. When Griff said truck, I didn't know he meant a fucking tobacco. Gets us out of town, gets us out of town. So, where are we going? Preferably somewhere without hordes of undead masses following us. Hit the radio. Cool out from the 